Hey YouTube, teen, and today, basically, I'm talking about getting a brand new Dolby Atmos soundbar system. It's about that time. I got my Vizio for three hundred dollars back in 2018. Now, like I said, I got the dancing, and it was about a thousand dollars before that. It was the first wireless home Dolby Atmos system, but because Dolby Atmos was early, you know, coming out to homes around 2018, a lot of stuff didn't work. And that uh, uh, system I had for $1,000, it wasn't no good. So I sent it back, but it wasn't their fault. Like I said, it was because the technology, the Dolby Atmos, was just coming out, didn't work with a lot of TVs, had a lot of issues. So then I got my Vizio. And I had problems with the Vizio at first, but because I had it, I worked out all my issues, and that's why I started telling people how I solved my issues with it. But now, it's old. It's about three years old, and I want something that uh, that has a mic and actually maps my room and things like that so that I can get a better quality overall Dolby Atmos sound. So I was looking, and I came up with this Sony product. It's the HTA9, okay? And it's running for about $1,800. But what's so special about it, as you can see the picture here, it has four satellite speakers that all have up-firing speakers, and it come with a hub. So there's no sound bar. There's no big 10 to 12-inch subwoofer. And what happened is Sony started asking its you know, people saying, hey, what's going on? You know, what would you like in a soundbar system? And a lot of people told Sony, hey, I live in an apartment. I can't have all that bass. I need something that's more minimalist. I need something that I can put in my house and fit in with the decor and not look like I have a big Namaguchi system, 9.2.4 and devil subwoofers in the house. And so Sony came up with the ATA9. And I think I'm loving it, people. So let's go in here and let's look at it here. Look at that. It's four speakers, all up firing, and then it comes with a central hub that connects and controls everything. It also has a digital display on this black box here. So that'll give you a picture of each of the systems the remote, but that's the black box. But what's special about that, not only are you going to get 8K playback, you're also going to get 4K at 120 hertz playback with this system. Okay? So this is the whole system all together right here, the four satellite speakers and the hub. Like I said, it's going to run you about $1,800, or it's going to run me about $1,800. But I think this is what I want for the simple fact that it does something that I need it to do in my man cave. Now, in my movie room, I have it. I have a AV system, an audio video system, oink noy, and uh, it basically has a microphone, and it pretty much tells the difference where the speakers are, and it kind of maps you know, the layout of my room so I get better quality sound where I'm sitting, okay? So that's what I wanted. Now this thing right here does what they call 360 degree spatial sound mapping for a whole new surround sound experience, but something that my sound bar, my Vizio sound bar doesn't do is it only does Dolby Atmos, okay? This thing does Every 3D audio format, it's going to do uh, Adobe Atmos. It's going to do DTSX, okay? It's going to do uh, all the uh, other audio, the Sonic, the PlayStation uh, 3D audio format. It's going to play all those different Kodaks. And that's what I want because I want to experience not only Adobe Atmos, but what if I have a DTSX movie? I want to hear how that sounds in DTX. SX. Okay, so the the Vizio I got 
2018 is kind of old. I need something that does that mapping. And I like the fact that it's a 7.1.4 channel system. Now, what's also cool about this thing is that it's going to map. So whatever layout you put your speakers in in your room, it's going to map that. And then it's going to add what they call phantom speakers. So it's going to add up to 12 phantom speakers in your room to seem to seem like you're getting bombarded. Like you're at the movie theater with sound coming at you from everywhere. And that's what this 360 spatial sound mapping really does. Okay. So you're going to get you're going to be able to do the 8K, the 4K 120. You're going to be able to use Chromecast, Spotify, Apple AirPlay, all those other things. And it's going to have Alexa and Google Assistant. So right now, my uh, Vizio does, a, does most of those things and plays most of those things. Like I said, what it doesn't have is the whole room mapping or the ability to mimic that there are more speakers in the room. That's why I said it's time to upgrade. I've been holding off and I might even get a new TV so that I can really ex experience all that in 4K with 120 hertz. I think now is the time because the movies that are coming out, everything is either in Dolby Atmos or DTXX. It's a 3D audio format. You don't have to guess anymore. You can hear how the engineers pretty much uh, put the, the Adobe Atmos in all these movies now, and they're really great. They're sounding great. But back in 2018, you really had to guess. You know, I used to have to tell people, you know, check this movie out because it sounds best in Adobe Atmos. You don't have to do that anymore. So now it says, now I believe it's time to upgrade and to uh, go to that next level and get some 3D uh, audio mapping in the man cave, and you're like, but you got a movie room. Yeah, the problem with the movie room is that it's dark, you know, and it's not an ideal place to watch sports and things like that because it's just so dark. And, you know, you want to see things and, you know, you want to talk to people and stuff like that. So I like watching sports and regular TV in the man cave. Okay, so I rarely go into my movie room now to watch movies because, like I said, it's so dark in there. But when I want to see a great flick at a 120, 20-inch screen, then that's where I go. But mostly, I'm in the man cave, enjoying the benefits of the man cave. So for the man cave, I'm going to need a new type of soundbar system. So I'm thinking... The AT-89 from Sony is what I'm looking for. So you folks tell me what you think about this. You know, do you want to go the uh, uh, old traditional route and you want a sound bar with a subwoofer, you know, that does the same thing that this does? Or do you want these nice satellite speakers that fit into any environment and look great doing it? I think I like the, the uh, look great doing it. The four satellite speakers. Now, I know I'm not going to get the bass that I'm going to get from a subwoofer, but like I said, it's the man cave. I want to distinguish the movie room from the man cave. Well, if I want bass, I go to the movie room. Okay? If I want sports and I want, you know, just enough bass, then I watch a movie or I watch sports in the man cave. You know, now it's a, a difference between the two. So, Again, folks, tell me what you think. This is Mr. North 14. Peace out.